Right, if I'm washed out, there's nothing I can do about it because I've had to take a curtain down for reasons. I'm not saying it on here. I'll probably let patrons know because it's just, it's too embarrassing to put on my main channel. But anyway, that's why I look like a ghost. Woo, let's go. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Patreon and various other social media platforms and I'll put the handles down below and over there. Over there. Oh, shouldn't have done that last bit, but I'm a human. What, what can I say? Now, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, there's special roles on my Discord server, and you have access to all sorts of bonus content like behind the scenes bloopers and my Vocal Anatomy 101 series. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, we're gonna react to somebody new. I actually know this person. Ha 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 ha, for once I know someone. Uh, this is John Mayer. Um, I've not heard this song actually, I think it's probably from his new album and it's called Shouldn't Matter But It Does from the Jimmy Fallon show. So, let's go and have a listen. I've not heard any of his new album but I love John Mayer. I love Gravity, Slow Dancing in a Burning Room, Comfortable, all the slow ones. <laughs> like all the sad ones. Should have been open, should have done more should have learned a lesson from the year before Should have been honest Should have just cried Should have told me there was nothing left inside Very nice. So this is going to be a slow one, which is the songs that I like from him, so great. Ha! First thing I'm going to note is that it's quite an aspirate sound, so he's getting more air through the folds than normal. So you're getting this Ha, ha, ha. The whole time there's this kind of almost like a gas leaky kind of sound like there's air just escaping through and it is delightful. Such a nice way to soften up a sound. Um, it's not the only way but it's a very very good way. I talk about onsets quite a lot but this I want to talk about is offsets. So he's got a very very aspirate offset which is how he finishes a phrase. He's kind of just letting things peter out into nothing um, and it's giving this kind of almost exasperated feeling like he's at his wits end or just like giving up the lyrics are kind of making that case as well so we'll see how this goes and see where the emotional journey takes us but so far fantastic now the road keeps rolling on forever and the years keep pulling us apart we lost something i still wonder what it was it shouldn't matter, it shouldn't matter, but it did. Nice. I heard a little bit of a fry offset as well, which is unusual. Usually you hear fry as an onset. Ah, you go into it. But what he did was he fried out on a phrase. It just keeps the ear kind of interested. Like, it's unusual to hear it that way round. Really, really nice. He has got this kind of set mouth shape where he doesn't really let much of the vowels form into too much of an overly obvious place. It's like a ventriloquist almost. Being honest. That's kind of how you get that bass sound from John Mayer. Um, you'll hear that when he needs to, he smiles into things to brighten up phrases. Um, but for the most part, he keeps everything kind of on this level where... All of the vowels are kind of in keeping with one another. It's very kind of uniform. Lovely. You should have just broken. You should have come clean. You should have been sad instead of being so mean. I know I just stopped like a second ago, but you'll hear that when he starts, he kind of goes into a thicker fold phonation where he's getting more chord closure, therefore like a clearer sound, but then he's airing it out as he goes through it. You should have been honest, you should have been down. So it goes from this like place of 
intent to releasing it almost. It's really nice. It's very, very like emotive. Um, really, really good. It shouldn't be easy, nice but flip. it shouldn't be hard. You shouldn't be a stranger in your own backyard. Now the road keeps rolling on forever And the years keep pulling us apart I know it's over I'm just saying this because It shouldn't matter It shouldn't matter but it does there's a little bit of um, larynx height variance coming in as well. It really does make a huge difference in tonal quality. The phrase is, you should have been honest. So say that's at mid. If you drop the larynx, you should have been honest. It's a bit richer. If you were to brighten up with like lifting larynx, you should have been honest. And he's kind of going between these kind of three places. Well, I mean, it's a spectrum, but he is kind of dipping in and out of a lower larynx, higher larynx, mid larynx. So you get all these different like flavors of tone through his voice. It's really nice. Messages in every little song. It could have been always, it could have been me. We could have been busy naming baby number three. Now the road keeps rolling on forever, and the ends keep pulling us apart. If it's on summer. I blame the both of us It shouldn't matter It shouldn't matter, buddy One thing that I adore about John Mayer is his lyrics. You don't normally hear me talking about lyrics. I usually just stick to vocal anatomy. But the, the way that he forms kind of scenarios and situations through his songs are impeccable they're so well written he has a really really good way of getting the message through and he kind of in my opinion does it by keeping his songs quite simple like to listen to not necessarily that the musicianship is simple but it's very kind of straight and to the point there's not huge amounts of riffs and runs and guitar solos and sax and whatever when he wants to write like a good ballad they are just simple and straightforward and you just get hit with the message it's really powerful he's so 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 good love it shouldn't matter shouldn't matter buddy shouldn't matter shouldn't matter but it does i'm not into that synth sound but So you'll hear he was quite far away from the mic when he did that note. So that tells me that he's probably in his head voice rather than a falsetto. Falsetto is not the loudest uh, quality to employ. It's where the folds kind of make a gap at the back and air kind of rushes through and your vocal folds are held stiff. Whereas head voice is just your vocal folds thinning out but they're still vibrating so you've still got that actual closed quality. It's a kind of a cleaner and more kind of pointed sound. If you add that in with a little bit of uh, oral twang, then you'll get quite a loud sound. It's quite loud. I mean, I just got the attention of someone out in the street. <laughs> so yeah, it is quite loud. Um, and that's what's telling me that he's in his head voice rather than his uh, falsetto register or stiff folds. And it was a good choice to back away from the mic in order to do that because if it was right in at it, it'd be quite an intense sound. And he wanted that to blend into the background with the music. So 
he's really skilled with his actual like technical ability with regards to working with microphones and recording equipment <laughs> very good Very nice. And you know what? That synth sound kind of got a little bit more appropriate as it went through it. I just didn't like it at first, but who am I to judge synth? He has got such a dynamic voice. I mean, there's loads of stuff I could have gone into, but I probably would have been here all day. So if you want to see more John Mayer reactions, then let me know down below in the comments and we'll get on that at some point. But in any event, I hope you enjoyed that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. How are we going to buy this one then? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me. And if you like this reaction, like the general vibe, won't you give a like and won't you hit subscribe? But until next time, to lose. <laughs> what? I went a bit flat at the end, but just ignore it. Bye!